Pastor. See, I done made up my mind. I'm going to flow with the chimes. You'll be the only one for me. Oh, my love's overboard. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That's it. Gladys, 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 Gladys. Whoop. Love's overboard. Hey. And then I found this one also, baby. The water may be deep, but this pussy real so sweet. Oh! I found this one also. Oh, wait, wait. I'm just, I'm just about to say, what is this one? Sorry, I, uh, <laughs> oh, I got it. <laughs> yeah, we gonna need... Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Hey, Big Snoop, how you doing? I love you too, baby. All right. So we are doing the pre-prep stuff right now for the show. No, Craig is not here today. You know, we're not doing, this is not the Craig and T.S. show. Craig will be here when he comes. I need for you guys, if you want something that's a topic to come on the show that we're going to be talking about, I'm going to need for you to inbox Mo, okay? Because Mo is taking all inboxes. I'm going to need for you to be inboxing Mo because we will be talking about the thing. So if there's anything that you want to talk about or that you want to be highlighted on the show, please inbox Mo. It's officially Leo. Um, today we're eating a, I'm back to doing a salad, a public salad. Um, you say, what's his handle? Uh, oh, this water may be deep, but this pussy real so sweet. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, Mo, when you finish, what's your handle? Now, see, Mo done fucked up and done got the, This ain't the one I had the other day. You got to watch the nicks that don't eat meat. Mo, come over here and get my phone and put your, oh, there it is. They put it down there. Officially Leo. Okay. But why don't you get a real American name? When I'm not I'm, I'm Nigerian, man. You really? Oh my god, all this time. <laughs> How you gonna ask me why don't I have a Nigerian name? I'm I said an American name. I mean an American name. I'm Nigerian. All this time I thought you was American. Really? How you got a social security number? <laughs> I thought all Americans had social security. I have a social security. Let me see. What happened? Everybody look. Look, y'all want y'all to see what Mo Mo hurt his hand. Yo, he got to wrap it up in this thing right here, y'all. Turn your, your ooh, Mo, your hands. And she got know. some lotion. I, I got lotion. Up. Look, y'all, he hurt his hand and stuff. Ladies, only sixty nine ninety nine per minute. You can come over here and scrub Mo. You can scrub Mo for sixty nine ninety nine a minute. Just inbox me. <laughs> For the details. <laughs> you must be a Georgia resident. Really? Yes. Really? You must. I, I, I don't know anything about this, man. It's okay. He don't know nothing about it. But I don't know nothing about this. Okay, what, for 79. What's going on? For 79. Okay, for 99.99. Because I got to give him a cut. <laughs> Mo needs his help being stroked. Oh, y'all, you say it's a scale that's not set up? <laughs> Um, Mo, can you, you ain't even got no hand scrunch to pull this out. Dude. Yeah, because the, the little, the little, the little Eminem's man is supposed to come out for, yeah, like hey. that. It's supposed, how did you do that? Why is it so difficult for me? They put your nails. Yeah, it's so difficult. My mama said, leave my Mo alone. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Mary. Mama, hush, because I'm trying to get this side money for, for Christmas. <laughs> hush, mama, going on somewhere. Going on with that bull stuff, mama. They talking about something you need work, Miss Cut. He didn't hurt his hand over here. <laughs> no, I didn't work it. I he didn't. hurt his hand here. I did it. I did it. Hell no, he didn't hurt his hand here. So don't y'all don't start that shit. Because I am HR. <laughs> Isn't that conflict of interest? I am HR. <laughs> don't start that shit. He didn't hurt his hand here. And don't y'all go to put no motherfucking ideas in his head because he did not hurt his hand. Over here at the International House of T.S. Madison. He did not do that. Okay? So we not finna even put that shit oh, in his ear. Ah. Oh, uh -uh. oh.
Fuck that! No. I don't even want to tell you what the insurance is in this house. We don't have to have your body shipped out of here. You better not let me get into my pocketbook. You tell myself, ooh, your hand hurt, your ass gonna be on fire. You get you let me get to my pocketbook over there. <laughs> Shit. Mo, can you give me what a what a Mo, yeah. where's this croutons? Where you say you had some. So where did you where did you put it? They them? upstairs. Mo, then you got this one. It ain't got a it ain't really got it's No, no, it's how they made it today. None Mo, of, none of that, none of them have a lot of uh meat in the so what about your? I know you got one that got chicken. Yeah, I got, it was just like this much. Oh, chicken. you ate it already? Yeah. You didn't wait to have lunch with me, Maddie. I was hungry. Well, you get terminated faster than you know. <laughs> you get terminated. I, I got. Hungry. I already got somebody in mind that's gonna come to. Really? That's gonna take. No one can take your place. <laughs> Love's overboard. Oh, <laughs> running out of time. Mo, you gonna see them croutons sitting over there by that by the oven? By the stove on top of so you'll see them public croutons. Damn, I went on and ate his motherfucking salad. We usually eat lunch together. I'm just going to stop buying them niggas lunch and shit like that. You know. Mama, you say you like my hair? My mama say he like, she like my hair. Okay, all right. So this is what we're going to do. I want everybody to come down to the YouTube. I, I unchecked it from Facebook because I'm doing different things on my Facebook. And so I want you guys to come over there on my face on my YouTube channel. And I'll probably check Facebook back in a minute. Um Mo, you be running up and down. He said, This is why you keep losing all that weight. I heavy, should, heavy. Weight. Today Thursday. Yeah. Oh, your check due tomorrow, ain't it? Yeah. Oh, you got a lot of work to do before you get your check. <laughs> you got a lot of work. I should be running up and down the stairs. I should yeah. be losing weight. Now. You should be losing weight. So, Mo, check your inbox. Okay. Um, you say, would I ever get lash extensions? Uh, I don't know because I don't like the way those lashes be sitting on my motherfucking... I, when I be want to pull them lashes off and give like a face without a lash, I'm all right with that. You know. Ooh, these the big ones, Mo. Ooh, these the Caesar crouton. Hey. <laughs> hey. Mo, you're going to be so mad at me. Why? I love you, though. You know that black pepper? We got to keep something down here. You know, the one that my mama be making me spend $7.59 on that little bitty ass pepper because she, like, she likes to put that coarse black pepper in her in her dressing. Which I miss, by the way. I ain't going to even sit up here in front like I miss my mama's, like I don't miss my mama's dressing, you know. And I really wish my mama was down here for Christmas. I, you know, at least my, mama, you could have at least came down here for Christmas, girl. You know, trying to make me get on the plane to fly home for Christmas. I don't know. I'm thinking about doing it. Yes, I am having we're having we're drinking tequila today. We fucking up our livers with tequila today. This is the this is the tequila from the black owned black operated. She's a black female. It's black female owned and black female operated tequila. Tequila. I don't want to eat this on my live show, so I will eat the salad right here and we'll have we'll have light discussions on stuff before we begin. You know, ooh shit. <laughs> ooh, that black pepper come out of there like ooh, I like the seeds. Um, Mo, you was you somebody wrote me and said, Man, I said, you really make it Mo very messy. I was like, this is what you don't understand. Those Nigerian men have already been messy. <laughs> what do you mean? Let me see how, how they say. How am I becoming messy though? What did I do? What did I do? Ooh, they say you can sip this without any chaser. Uh, really? Oh, this tequila. Oh, shit. Mama, you want some of this for Christmas? You said, no, this is, but Kevin Hart is not a female, though. I said, this is black female owned and black female <laughs> operated. Kevin Hart is not a female. <laughs> He's not a woman. Yeah, I don't, we don't need a lot of this shit here. Damn, that shit. I feel like. What? Bitch. It's 11 degrees outside. I don't even feel that right now. <laughs> Damn. You're the man of my mind. You're the man of my mind. All I want from me. Oh, crap. Oh, my mind. 
You checking your inbox mode? Yep. Because I know they sending you stuff. Yep. I'm now, good. listen. If you sending him anything other than stuff that we need to... There's stuff that we going over and talking about on the damn show. I'm going to go in his inbox and block because I do know his password to his phone. <laughs> So I'm going to politely go in there and block you hoes, bitch. Because you only hit him up about that type of stuff when the, when I give the okay that it's time for business. Then once I have finished doing the creation, I'm still working with my tech guy to get all the graphic designs together. For drtoto.org. Dear Lord. I, I, don't, I don't know anything about it. You don't need to know about it. All you need to know is to show up to work. You don't know what we're doing. <laughs> Just come to work. Drtoto.com. I never heard of that. I never heard of that. You didn't need to hear. You hearing about it now. <laughs> so I have this. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to do this. Honey, honey mustard. Or I've been eating poppy seed for the last uh, couple of days. I've been eating a poppy seed and stuff like that. Mama, you say there that pepper that pepper is ten dollars, girl. It's still seven dollars and fifty nine cent here. You know you stay down there in Miami. Should I do honey mustard? No, I don't want to do ranch. I don't want to do ranch. Should I do honey mustard or should I do? Craft Catalina. I do have Craft Catalina in the refrigerator, but I ain't gonna send more up there to get it. Because then it, I do have Kraft Catalina in the refrigerator. Oh, and please, if you guys are sending me uh, topics, please send send the post. Don't just send, like, what you want us to talk about. Send, like, the post of what you want us to talk about. Don't just send... Well, just come around like here and tell them so they can see you. That kid on Nika, I don't like... I used to like Thousand Island until I found out that that was on the Big Mac sandwich. That's the secret sauce of the Thousand, I, Thousand right. Island. And I'm like, damn, I done ate so many Big Macs. I don't need to eat no more. No more Thousand Island. No more Thousand Island. Let me taste to see how, how this honey must have tasted first. Now, me, I will put them on some deviled eggs, though. Oh, you like deviled eggs, Moses? Yeah. You like deviled eggs? Yeah. Okay. Mo, tell them what... Oh, so, um... If you guys want to send me something, send me the... Um, what did it? The post of what you want us to talk about. Don't just write what you want us to talk about, so I can already have the post and I can put it inside the system, so we can talk about it for the for a topic. Okay, thank you. My mama get on me all the time by opening. She, my mama gets real. My mama be feeling some type of way. Really? When I open up a lot of motherfucking uh, <laughs> uh salad, dress. salad dresses, barbecue sauce, and stuff like that. <laughs> now I'm gonna tell y'all some real ass shit, right? Yesterday I wanted. To, I know y'all noticed I've been eating on my live. I've been eating um uh, eating food on my live. I don't know what I'm having for dinner tonight. Y'all just gotta tune in to what I'm deciding I'm gonna have for dinner tonight. But I will tell you this right here in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I will tell y'all this. Whoever suggested that I go over there and get those pickle. Sorry. Somebody sent me. Uh, no, you, you ain't got your earpiece? No, it's in my car. Don't go to your car. <laughs> Whoever. Bro, you got to turn the system down over there. Yeah, I'm doing it down. Whoever suggested that I go down there and I motherfucking eat <laughs> those pickled okra, I'm going to fuck you up. What happened? Bro, I've been on the toilet all day, all morning. Pickled, wait, you said pickled okra? Pickled okra. So whoever... Was on Facebook and told me, thank you, Alex. Alex can sing. Whoever was on Facebook and told me to go down there to the people, and I added that fucking the pickled okras to my damn Instacart. I'ma fuck you up. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you up on GP. I couldn't even sleep last night. Oh, it was waking you up out of sleep. Bitch! You say, is it good, though? Yes. 
So was it worth it? It was. <laughs> it was. But if you're looking for a good diuretic <laughs> and you want a good cleansing, uh -huh. get you some pickled okra. <laughs> I sat there and ate that whole jar of pickled okra. And, and all of it. Wait, how big was the jar? It was a, it was a nice jar. And you know, some big size okra. <laughs> Bro, you ain't never ate pickled okra? No, I've never had pickled okra. That pickled okra, it was good. So I ate, uh, I ate um, pickled red onions, which I should I ain't going to run you upstairs no more. more. Go on, do, put the stuff on the, on the thing. I, I eat it for dinner. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Did that pick it up, bro? Mm -hmm. Hey, Nivea. What's up, boo? Nivea. Don't mess with my man, Nivea. Don't mess with my man. Flame, what's up, baby? Flame, you said my booty was just sour. It was. Mm -hmm. My booty was actually raw in the middle. Because I just kept getting up. I said, God, please. Mm -hmm. And I'm really contemplating on eating a job on the night. Really? They was good, Mo. They was good. Well, hopefully mm. you don't have nothing to do tomorrow. I don't. Oh. We going to Legra House for the... Um... That's true. Mm -mm. Yeah, you can't. I can't do it. <laughs> you can't. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Get somebody else to do it. <laughs> I'm so full. Hey, Couture Cabela, thank you for my hair. Y'all, ladies and gentlemen, this hair came from Couture Cabela. She just waved at me. I'm waving back. I'm waving back. Well, shit, is too late. Okay, I'm waving back. She just came in here. She has provided me with this hair. Jameson colored this hair. And... Mmm. I'm so full. No, I'm not going to be able to eat all this. Really? I'm so full. There's something about when I ate this, the lettuce just started forming in my stomach. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Girl, do y'all know that it's 11 degrees outside? 11. Thank you, Antonio. Mm. You said my YouTube yesterday was informative. Okay. Thank you, babe. Mm. Thank you, baby. Y'all make sure y'all following. Couture Cabela. Because this hair used to be black. Jameson bleached this hair. Turned it this color, this Cajun Spice. Put it in. I'm going to rock this for the, for the holidays. And then after I take this out, I'm going to do a, um, you say it's 2 o'clock in Oklahoma? Damn. It's still 11 o'clock in L.A. Mm. I do want to talk about <clears throat> the video that I posted yesterday on my Instagram when I was talking about Kendra G. Um, there was only one person that really came on there. Not one. It was a few people. There was a lot of debate going on in the comment section, right? So if, if, if you look at the previous post, there's a lot of debate going on inside of the comment section. And I was like, all right, cool. I didn't come to, to argue and fuss and be divisive. I only pointed out things. There was one person that came in the comment section. I pinned it to the top. And me pinning it to the top they got it. What I did when I posted that video yesterday, I gave the floor to everybody to let everybody talk. I dissected the video. You can see the full video on my YouTube channel because I know y'all going to run over here to my YouTube because we're going to be watching. We're going to be doing the show today, but I don't know if I want to talk about that. I don't know if I want to go back to the Kendra G shit. I don't want to get fucked by that shit today. But I want since it, since it has so much engagement yesterday, last night, it was crazy engagement. Okay, so... There was one person whose comment stood out the most to me. Hold on. I'm going to read it to you. Mm. Mm. 
See? A lot of y'all people comment, or not, a lot of y'all listen to respond instead of just listening. Sometimes people just listen, let me, oh, let me get her, let me get him, let me get, just, just baby, let me get him together, let me, let me let him know he a man, let me let him know, as soon as he say anything about him, let me let him know he a motherfucking man. And I think that a lot of times that it be deep in the chest of some people to really try to. It is their, it, they feel like it is their duty to let me know that I'm a man. And you can never let me know what I know. You can never let me know that I know that I was born male. I was born that. And so I understand that you don't have to. And I always lead in with you don't have to tell me about biology. I don't need no, I don't need no lesson in that bitch. I stand up and pee every time I use the bathroom. I don't even like to sit down and pee because I don't want my nuts and the tip of my dick hitting the motherfucking goddamn toilet water. So I don't need you to break that shit down. You say you can't address this stuff in twenty. I have to embed a status. You know why? Because if because there were so many people, even though there were so many people in the comments who had their opinion about it, there was some there were people who came there and they learned something. They learned something. From watching and listening to the, me break that down. And those people that watched the whole video in its entirety was like, oh, I mean, because there were some people who immediately went to the whole thing because they felt like I didn't agree with Kendra because because of the whole, oh, you were born a man thing. They, they thought that I was going to attack her for that. And I didn't attack her at all. Let me tell you what how the what comment stood out to me the most. The comment came from a person named Aishan, and he said, the defensiveness of some of these comments is proving that folks have set have a set of talking points ready to do anything other than just listen to a trans woman's experience and take it in. T.S. Madison made it super clear that she's not attacking Kendra, nor is she invalidating anyone's right to feel turf. I'm going to go back because this is important that you got to listen how important this is. It is super clear that she is not attacking Kendra, nor is she even invalidating anyone's right to feel turf. She is describing how she knew what the script would be because she clocked it from the first question. And she knew it because there's a pattern of behavior and languages that goes along with denying the womanhood of trans women. She's describing something that she herself has obviously experienced enough times to be alert to it. Can folks not just sit with that experience for more than two seconds and have empathy that this is clearly a constant and fatiguing line of questioning that you are asking trans women to take on. The fact that so many people in this conversation want to give, give grace to Kendra and not to the person sharing their experience and knowledge with you is as far as I see evidence of the very thing that she is describing. And so I want to go back to the top of this so that you guys can understand I was even okay with you being a turf. I was okay with you being anti-trans. I was okay with you just saying, man, 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 man. I was okay with that. And here is the here is the thing that 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 makes you guys look bad that do this. I could post an emoji. Right? An emoji. All it does is just proves my point. I don't be fucking with nobody. I can post an emoji under something like but that woman, because we are we are gonna talk about that woman going crazy in uh the 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 American Airlines. 
I posted an emoji. Somebody came up there and told me how I shouldn't speak on women and how I shouldn't. I'm a. I'm not a woman, and uh, you know I shouldn't. You should. I turn that football shit off. You should not be speaking on women. You should not say anything because you're not a woman. You're a man, and you know all I posted was an emoji. This lets me know how triggered, how triggered, <laughs> and in depth. My my presence is when I talk about issues and things, you know, pertaining to cis women, trans women. I'm a trans woman that you don't have to remind that 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 I I was born male. I'm not a man. OK, I was born male, but I'm not a man. And so people have to understand that there's a difference in between the two. It's going to take you a while to figure it out. And sometimes you, you're you not going to figure it out because you're, you're hell bent on it. You're setting your ways in that. And it's okay. You and I don't have to share the same space. We don't have to share the same space. We don't have to. We, we, I'm going to say something very shady. Nine out of ten, you're not going to share the same space with me anyway because you're not that type of girl. <laughs> anyway, and if you are that type of girl that can share that space with me. It, it, it's either you're going to respect me and I respect you or we're not going to have any conversation. If you're a turf, it's, it's, if you're our turf, hey, be your be, be the best turf that you can be. If you are if you are not going to respect pronouns and you're not going to. Hey, I'm not trying to force that on you, but we won't have a conversation. We won't. Be uh, we won't do any of that. I'm not trying to change any of your views and opinions, but we won't have, we won't share any space. We won't be in the same room. We won't, there are things that we won't do. And so it's okay. Okay, everybody was saying, what is the world as a turf? Since nobody wants to go to Google, I'll do it for you. Now, come on, phone, don't start this freezing up shit. Turf, spelled T E R F. T E R F, turf. Okay? Turf. If anybody wants to put that in the comment section, they can. A turf is a person whose views on gender identity are considered hostile towards transgender people or who oppose social and political policies designed to inclusive to be inclusive of transgender people. TERF is an acronym for Trans Exclusionary Radical Feminist. Okay, again, TERF is a person whose views on gender identity are considered hostile to transgender people or who opposes social and political policies designed to be inclusive of transgender people. The acronym is Trans Exclusionary Radical Feminist. TERF. If you are a TERF, if you are any of these things, it's all right. Hey, I'm not mad at you. We don't have to have any kind of... We don't have to have any dealings with each other. We, we, have, we don't have to have any dealings. We don't have to do any business together. We don't have to be friends. It's okay. You can do that if that's what you choose to do. But you will be deleted from my comment section. You will be, I want you to unfollow me because why are you following me? Why are you? I don't get it. What's the problem? I'm not mad at you for your for who you are, but we don't have to have any connection with each other. And, but you will understand that I'm going to occupy spaces on earth because you don't have any control over that. God does. And at the end of the day, if there's something that ha involves women, as far as stories about women, talk shows about women that I do commentary on, unfortunately, dear, if you don't want me to speak on that, you got to turn the channel or you got to you got to follow uh, you got to go somewhere else. I don't need you adding me because the moment that you add me and tell me that I'm a man and you and listen, to other, I don't need you to I don't need you to tell me 
Anything about biology. I don't need that, sweetheart. Just because I did adult films does not mean that I'm an unintelligent person and I didn't graduate high school and did some college. I don't need that. I don't, you know. So at the end of the day, that's just what it is. Okay. Uh, one question. If I don't see trans women as the same as me, cis woman, does that make me a turf? I respect you as a woman, but just not like my like myself, just a question. Uh, I don't know how to answer that. Because one, I don't present my... Legra is my manager. Pam is my PR. Miss Mary is my mother. Kendra is my attorney. I don't think that any of those four women and I are the same. I've never felt that I and my mother are the same. I've never felt that myself and uh, Legra is the same. We're different. I'm a, I'm a trans woman, but I'm, I, I fall under the woman umbrella, umbrella nonetheless. Because woman and female, woman is a social construct. Female is genetic. Genetically, no, I'm not a female. I am a trans gender woman. I fall under the umbrella of woman, like black woman, white woman, Asian woman, fat woman, skinny woman, ugly woman, pretty woman. So when the day is done, you know, I don't think that I'm equal to you as far as genetically equal. I don't feel that I'm genetically equal or, or I'm or, or even above, I don't feel any of these ways. I know that I'm trans. I know that I am trans and I know that you are female. I know this. So this is why that I don't, you know, this is why I'm not, I don't have a problem with you, you know, being, but have what your beliefs or what it is that you believe, because that's fine. But when it, when you start Excluding me from certain things, you know, then I'm like, mm, I get it. But then there are things that I do understand. It all really boils boils down as it's a hard pill for all of us to swallow. It all boils down to men. C contrary to popular belief, it all boils down to that regardless of if we want to admit that or not it boils down to that because we always get into this space where 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 females say which while we had this discussion about what Kendra was talking about with the trans woman oh I'm not I, I, ain't, I ain't no gay man I ain't finna be fucking with no gay man because if they like a trannies they gay and my whole point was men you have labeled men. You haven't even asked the man what he what he identifies as himself. Everybody is entitled to having their own identity. You haven't even asked the man what he and you've already entitled him because of his attraction. You've already given him, you've made his identity choice for him. Oh, you gay. <laughs> Nigga, you gay. And I'm like. Some of them same niggas that you screaming out is gay will bust your pussy open. Will wear, will walk your pussy like a dog. Will stick that motherfucking duck meat in you and walk that pussy like a dog. And some of you have already experienced your pussy getting walked like a dog. And then you find out that they walking a, 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 a trans pussy like a dog. Two and you like, oh no, oh God, oh God. Sorry, sweets. It happens. But you don't even respect bisexuality. You don't respect, you don't respect fluidity. You don't respect pansexual. Like the spectrum of sexuality I have learned is huge. I too was raised up in a space where I was saying to myself before, and I'm still on the fence with certain things, where I didn't want to date a man who got fucked. 
But this was me in a space of I was raised by cisgender heterosexual women. I was I've been around cisgender heterosexual women who have had these conversations, who who it also imprinted on me as a transgender woman. Like, bitch, I don't want no man getting fucked and sucking dick. Well, bitch, I have a dick. And then I'm not going to get rid of. And if you bring that booty cat around here in this day and time, I may walk that, put that ass like a dog with this duck meat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You may get that ass walk like a dog with this duck meat. But I also, at one point in my life, and one point in my growth, did not respect bisexuality. I thought that you either want to fuck a man or you want to fuck a woman. This was because I was raised up by, raised up, been around, influenced by cisgender heterosexual people who have, who have these built in mechanisms to sexuality, sexual, who are this, who are this closed minded to anything else outside of the parameters when there is a whole lot of stuff that goes outside of the parameters there are a lot there are many things that go on outside of the parameters of male and woman fucking each other that's just how it is so for me even in me trying to teach, I learn because I too have had thoughts and have had opinions and have had these things. But I had to learn from people how the spectrum is wide because I couldn't understand how is this man who I think is gay, who has feminine ways, who hangs around all the other gays, can fuck this woman and fuck uh, a man too but don't like trans women and it was because it was broken down to me that Madison I like men and I like women I don't like trans women and this comes from a person that identifies as bisexual and so this is why it is important that when you start having conversations about men and what they are attracted to, that you don't group and lump all men into the gay category because he ain't necessarily just fucking pussy. Because he's not necessarily just fucking pussy. nobody wants to hear our experience. Everybody wants to hear, everybody wants to be like, well, you a man, you don't know nothing about this. I try to school a lot of the girls on things that have happened in my life. I, I, I do it with comedy and stuff like that. But I try to school y'all on, on things that go on. And a lot of you have experienced, a lot of you have experienced or will experience men who you deem as gay and you gonna you may find out about it before it gets too deep or you may find out about it when it's terrible because you have closed yourself off in the thinking of it's a possibility that my pussy can get walked like a doll by this man who walks this motherfucking tranny bitch pussy like a doll because he probably done already did it me as a trans woman used to feel some type of way you get what I'm saying? When I found out that the men that I have been involved with liked men too. So there were times that I was able to empathize with women who say, I don't want a man that's fucking with another man because it makes you start to feel like, well, I, I, I give all this. What the fuck you like? How you like a man? I give all of this. So how, what the fuck do you see? Do you see a man in me? What the fuck is going on? Like, what's the tea? Do you see a dude in me? So I used to get it. But now that my mind is in a space of, I understand, like, that sexuality, attraction, all of that shit is in a, it's broad. We're attracted to certain things 
we are attracted to certain things that we don't have. I was watching a video. I told you guys this story before. I don't even like vagina sexually. And there was this man. All I saw the man was sucking this lady pussy and my dick got hard from him. I didn't see his genitalia. I saw hers and him eating her coochie. And I was like, oh. there, there, you have aha moments within yourself. <gasps> oh my God. This just turned me on. This just made me excited. So when I have these conversations with y'all, a lot of y'all get so angry with me because it's coming from a trans woman. And also I am a trans woman who is who was infamous and notorious for being a sex worker. So y'all hoes know I done fucked niggas. Y'all know that I don't fuck niggas from all walks of life. From the dope dealer to the fake dope dealer to the rapper to the music producer to the singer, bitch to the broke nigga to the rich one to the one scrapping up, trying to motherfucking scrap his chains together to come over here and suck, lick, fuck, and do and have his fantasy out. So I've done this stuff. So I don't understand why it be like a why is be why do it be so so much anger or or vitriol or animosity when i be like hey this is let me tell y'all about this because this is coming from a, an experience i'm 45 years old so this has come from an experienced broad who has seen and done the things and my mother is in the comment section talking right now and my mother said if i wasn't over here if i wasn't living life if there was a time i was on the outside and i had i had thoughts I'm on the inside and now I can see it. I'm like, oh shit. Oh, this real out here. Oh, it's really real out here. It's real, real. It's real, real out in this bitch. Them niggas be on y'all. And ain't now one of them gonna ever in their life identify as homosexual they're not gonna do it you've given them that identity that's not what they're gonna do oh you want a gay you want a gay man that man is not gonna identify. he's never gonna do that and he gonna come home and walk that pussy like a pit bull he gonna walk that pussy like a pit bull and some of you some of you, unfortunately, that be transphobic and homophobic at times, or you have those under, underlying beliefs, some of you get those experiences, and I just be like, I don't wish it on you, but girl, that was you close your mind after that. And, that and, and, and a lot of you ones that are like that always end up with the worst ones. I mean, y'all end up with the worst, worst ones. I mean, the ones that's getting that, getting that booty hole. Gut. That's getting that booty busted. Oh, I mean, split in half. Get this, that lay down and let that, let throw that ass up in there, and then and bitches be lined up to fuck that ass. I've seen it with my eyes. Some of the most homophobic and transphobic women. I'll be like, oh girl, only if she knew about this nigga that she over here carrying on about. This nigga is getting gut. I mean, I mean, spread it like. Country crop butter, bitch, on toast. So, and I don't feel bad for them. I got I will, I will tell y'all that truth. I don't feel bad for them because I'm like, bro, I don't, I'm trying to tell you, like, girl, girl, what are you, what do you, like, you really think that we out here in the world fucking each other? Anyway, I'm about to start the show. Mo, you ready? Yep. You got all what we need? Mm -hmm. Did you put the uh, the other stuff on there? I wanted to get that out so I don't have to have this conversation over here on the show. Yeah. Y'all rewatch this video because I'm going to save this one. You may learn something from this. You may learn something. You might you might learn something from this. You know? And if and I, I really ask at times, if you could put away, if you could put aside some of the disdain that you have for trans people or trans women, particularly the black, us black girls, because I can talk to you from the black experience. If you can put a, aside... Some of the disdain you have or some of the things or, or, or some of the feelings that you have of erasure because lots of times 
you have this disdain and these feelings about the girls because you feel that, they, that, that we are attempting to erase you or erase your existence. Erase. I can't erase nothing that originated me. I, I can't erase anything that originated me. I can't erase it. I cannot. You say come to Bigo? No. Mm -mm. Can't do it. Can't do it, baby. Can't do it. All right. My mom said, baby, I seen it with my own eyes. I know, mama, you have. Anyway, we're going to cut up and kick you over here in this bullshit right here because, baby, it's already set up. The people, y'all already laying me out. Mo, they cussing me out over there. Y'all see? Mo, they cussing me out over there in the comments. Bitch, get your fat ass over here. Two o'clock. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do. They over here waiting for you too. That's what I'm saying. They over there cussing me the fuck out over there. I ain't got nothing to do. Shit. Y'all, I'm, I'm making y'all day go by. Anyway, I love you guys. And I'll talk with you shortly. Bye-bye.